This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Supreme Court overturns the Allahabad High Court verdict. Who owns the Ram Janmabhoomi in Ayodhya will now be known on the 28th of September. The Supreme Court has uh, uh, directed that the judgment to be delivered by the High Court in the afternoon tomorrow shall not be delivered. VGP Senior Director is arrested by the Crime Branch in charges of massive financial irregularities. Whistleblowers in the line of fire again, this time in Tamil Nadu, a government employee who blew the lid off a scam in civil supplies department found dead. Even as the PMK and Dalit Panthers battle it out in Mahavalipuram residency, they don't want any of the caste wars. You're watching the Late Night News with me, Sai Manish. Those were the top stories we're tracking at this hour. Details of all those and much more coming your way. Before that, let's have a look at what else is making headlines in India and rest of the world. An embarrassed Prime Minister steps in to clear the CWG mess meets the Sports Minister. Kalmadi, though, is not invited. Nothing sporty about the filth and dirt at the CWG Games venues. Look at them yourself. This is what the CWG Games village looks like. CWG Organising Committee Treasurer says sorry for the big mess up while SM Krishna External Affairs Minister says India will do a good job. Uh, assured uh, uh, all concerned uh, that uh, India will be able to deliver on the Commonwealth Games. Pakistan provokes yet again says India should stop treating Kashmir as its own territory. And here's an exclusive sneak peek into Rahman's Pepia CWG tune. Top story we're tracking at this hour in Chennai itself. VGP senior director Rajadas, also known as VGP Rajadas, has been arrested by the crime branch for alleged financial fraud. NDTV Hindu has learned that members of the VGP family have complained against Rajadas, following which the crime branch stepped into the picture, arresting him and producing him in the Poonamali High Court. Rajadas is uh, still in the custody. In fact, he was sent to the Pural prison by the crime branch. Register office, our and the Nalata, Pandidas would a pioneer and Dal Payan Raja Das Vande, Tritanama, our director, no director, other sale agreement to put in that. Nanga Prokup to get a inability Pandir King, I have been kept on. Alke, our Sanganga power of Patani, Angir Crown, didn't Sanga. Other in Anga Pakumbo, our Yarandupon Munadi power put to Ganga, Yarandupon, not the power seller. Anna other Tower of Pine Burti and the Sota. Sort of Pagranga, even though Nupati and Jigodi Mala were two less of the Patti Nanga Pukari local Lakutu Patna, the article upon Kalinger Sel Mulamaho, CCP Mulamaho, Nanga, the Nala action at the Commissioner Mulamah Suli, approach Mulambode, Avanga Mulama, the English Merchipane, Nala Murchikutanga. And our reporter Salim was outside the VGP headquarters and brings us this report from there. The owner of the VGP Housing Private Limited, Raja Das, has been arrested by the Central Crime Branch of the City Police on charges of cheating. He was produced before the Saidapet Court and lodged at the Pural Prison. Now, the dispute is due to the family feud. The accused and the uh, victim in this case are relatives. Now, the complainant, Ed, uh, Mr. Hedwin, had alleged that Raja Das, owner of the VGP Housing Private Limited, has misused the power of attorney and tried to sell his land in, in Karapakam village. The court has uh, remanded uh, the accused in this case for the next two weeks and he will remain at the Pural prison. The top national story, of course. Uh uh, fierce uh, debates reaching across the country after this one. The Supreme Court has stayed for a week. The Ayodhya title suit verdict that was due to be pronounced by the Allahabad High Court on Friday. Now this uh, uh, will of course come up for hearing on Tuesday, the 28th of September. Now uh, the High Court, uh, the Lucknow bench of the Allahabad High Court had in fact declined uh, to give a verdict in the 60-year-old, uh, declined in fact a plea to defer 
a verdict in the 60 year old Ram Janma Bhumi Babri Masjid title to dispute the Supreme Court however said that it could be deferred and that 28th has been set as the date to decide who this disputed piece actually belongs to. The matter came up before uh, two judges of the Supreme Court today. One judge was against issuing notice in the matter. One judge was inclined to issue notice. Therefore, the Supreme Court, in the traditions of the Supreme Court, has issued notice to all parties. It has issued notice to the Attorney General. It has kept the matter for the 28th of September, which is next week. And meanwhile, the Supreme Court has uh, uh, directed that the judgment to be delivered by the High Court in the afternoon tomorrow shall not be delivered in the meanwhile. So no judgment will be delivered by the full bench for tomorrow. And uh, we had submitted before the court that the Supreme Court should maybe lend a healing touch in this matter where very serious contentious issues have been raised. You see there was an application by uh, a non-serious party who did not appear even during the course of conciliation before the High Court. I had appeared on behalf of one of the Hindu main parties. He never appeared even for a single day in the course of 90 days of the argument. Now today he made an application and uh, sought uh, reconciliation. Uh, since I am an arguing counsel in this case, beyond this I don't wish to make any comment. Eleven attempts have been made in the past, don't forget it. Many prime ministers have met. At the very serious place, dialogue has taken place with the VHP and the Babri Mosque Action Committee. And you may recall of the white paper when the Muslim side said, which is noted in his Pai Faruqi case, in the event it is proved that there was a temple there, we will voluntarily for our claims. You know all those things. The when serious negotiation for 11 times did not succeed. Now one stray gentleman comes to the court whose bona fide, I would say it is mala fide completely. Beyond this I have nothing to say. Mystery surrounds the death of Murugan, a government employee in Titi Koren who had exposed a scam in the civil uh, supplies department which was uh, entrusted with the task of supplying rations. After Murugan was found dead, the police say it was a case of suicide by consuming poison. But his wife thinks otherwise. Sam Daniel does a reality check. Was Murugan killed because he blew the whistle on his colleagues in the civil supplies department? Murugan's wife Selvi says he had exposed a scam where expensive pulses meant for the public distribution system were smuggled out of go-downs and replaced by cheap rice. Police say Murugan consumed poison, but Selvi suspects foul play. The minister in charge for food, A.V. Velu, refused to comment on camera. The government has ordered a probe. Yesterday, Honorable Chief Minister uh, has already announced a CBCID inquiry in this matter. If, if there are very sensitive things involved, trying to get 10 people to file the same RT application so that they don't know who is that one key person. Murugan's wife, Selvi, is not giving up. She has refused to accept her husband's body and is on a hunger strike demanding justice. With camera person Raja Solomon and Chuchikorin in Chennai, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. Shocking case. There probably a reminder for the centre not to dilute the whistleblower protection bill, which will be introduced in Parliament. On to another story, NDTV Hindu has been bringing you constantly updates about also being on top of it. Uh, now, we brought you sustained coverage of the havoc created in Mahabalipuram, a almost panic like situation, a curfew like situation because. Uh, the PMK and the VCK were at loggerheads there, all in the name of caste. Now, moving forward, we look at a broader perspective to this entire caste issue. Do the people of Mahabalipuram identify with the divisive caste politics practiced by certain political parties like the PMK? Well, here is the answer from the streets of this beautiful temple town by the Bay of Bengal. Damaged heritage, violent retribution. Riot control vehicles, fear on the streets. A silent town on the tenterhooks. Political rivalry unfolding in Mahabalipuram, driven by caste sentiments. The main protagonist, this man, PMK's Ramadas. At the receiving end of the PMK's one-year wrath, this man, VCK Supremo, Tirumavalavan. But Mahabalipuram has seen its ups and downs. 
NDTV Hindu explores the caste wars that are increasingly being played out in the serene ambience of the sleepy town by the Bay of Bengal. Makalela Utumia Sandosum Maisha Vandri Nertla and the Tevila de Shia. Periangla Talaiti or Samadana Padati, Makal Tundu, Ramadi Termati, Padapatanga, Adi in the Ur Makalodem, Murumian Urupa Marco. After all, Mahabalipuram is a symbol of a dynasty that was known for its open-hearted embrace of everything, big or small, good or bad, indigenous or alien. Be it Mahendra Varman, one under whose reign Hinduism flourished, or Narsim Varman, one under whose glorious reign Chinese scholars like Swanzong came calling to the splendid land which is today Tamil Nadu. In the 21st century, men like Nazir Khan, a Kashmiri who has made Mahabalipuram his home, are a symbol of an era gone by. Politically motivated caste divide is something ordinary residents like him want to stay away from. तो उस वजह से वो यहां के लोग हैं उनको गुस्सा आ गया सबको बोला दुकान बंद कर दो तो कुछ हुआ है आपस में कुछ उनको बातचीत हो गई है तो अब गाड़ियां सब चलने लगी तो वो सब बंद किए तो हमने भी उनको साथ दिया हमको भी बंद करना है बैड टाइज मीन बैड बिजनेस टू नो वन वुड नो दैट बेटर देन दीस फिशरमैन गार्डिंग देयर प्रॉपर्टीज ओवर अ गेम ऑफ कार्ड्स अनविलिंग टू गो इनटू द सी when violence hits their land. And the person who is here is going to be a new person who is Tamil Nadu. That's why there is a lot of people who are going to be a school. They 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 are going to be a school. Caste troubles fueled by political goals may be a dangerous exercise for gathering votes. If not the PMK or the VCK, at least the people of Mahabalipuram can differentiate between petty hyperrealism and the reality rooted in the magnificent past. Whenever Mahabalipuram manages to shake off any of its demons, another one comes back to haunt it despite the looming presence of the divine on this quaint little town by the Bay of Bengal. First, there were the Western ills such as pedophilia and child abuse brought by foreigners from the West. Now, it's the caste wars, something which is so intrinsically Indian that has come to trouble this sleepy little temple town of Mahabalipuram. With Pradeep, this is Sai Manish for NDTV Hindu. We're slipping into a very short breakup. On the other side, the Prime Minister is forced to intervene to clear up the CWG mess.